Hey, what's up, y'all? It's TK here. Sorry for the bad lighting. It's dark and my lamp is sad. It's the bit, so it's, it's kind of like a doing story time. But yeah, don't mind the headband. I do my, I write this headband in all my videos. So I'm not trying to start Naruto vs. Dragon Ball Z War. If you want to get into a war, hit me up on Twitter about it. You know, I, I like both of them kind of thing. But this is the first review. Well, I actually did a review before, but I'm starting weekly reviews now on this Future Chunks on um, chapter. So, I like this thing that glue up in my face now. Let me move this thing up. But, um, so, this is the Future Trunks Saga. I'm looking at the camera. Look, yeah, don't mind the light. This is the Future Trunks Saga. Well, Future Trunks chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Um, this episode 47. That's the first episode of this whole chapter thing. First episode is titled SOS from the Future. And it has some other thing. Something about Bright Black. And Black is the new um threat to the future world with where Future Trunks is living. Now I thought they was gonna like maybe do like a alternate um like alternate universe of Future Trunks. Cause I thought they was gonna add in the fact that Gohan has a son. I mean Gohan has a daughter now, no pen. Cause I don't think they had the idea of pen back on regular Dragon Ball. Um, Z so um they also did show like flashbacks and stuff like that so it is like it's it's the same future chunks it's not like another one it's, it's the same future chunks before they show flashbacks of the Dragon Ball Z like when um the cell android soccer thing but yeah this new threat black he looks just like Goku he's wearing one of those little rings like he's a um one of the supreme Kai's um what I think about the episode, well, first of all, I thought it was just going to be, um, I actually thought it was going to be episode just based, like, where Future Trunks is at. I thought it was going to be, like, a few, I don't, I don't know how that's what I thought it was going to be, where he's going to be in the future, you know, fighting on this guy, or, um, basically, I don't, I don't know. I, I just thought it was going to be more episodes there. I didn't think we was going to see much Goku and um, Vegeta much at least for a few episodes but it looks like Trunks will be there in the past well present where Goku and Vegeta is that gone so first basically on this episode right here it's just it's like open basically just opening up let us know what's going on um so Cell is Cell and the androids they are gone of course Goku they don't handle it in the past because you no know, Trunks went back previously on this Dragon Ball Z, you know, back then. But um we had this new threat and basically Boma she's working on um this energy, the whatever they use to go back to the past and they didn't really have too much of it just enough to go there. It's no way to really go back. But she's sure it's a way to of course her younger self probably could make some material for her, trying to go back, whatever. And um Basically, black. They didn't really show him until the end of the end of the episode. They didn't really show him, and I, they showed him in the opening. But I thought, I thought maybe that was Gohan, kind of. I thought it was probably Gohan in different styles. I don't know, but um, yeah. Um, basically, they're talking or whatnot. She's telling them about it's only one way trip. A lot of people wish their lives what it is stuff like that. Black blasts into the laboratory, and um. Basically, he kills Belma. Belma, t Belma. Well, he he didn't kill her. He didn't kill her me. He just he was holding her and whatnot. So then she told Trunks to go. You're our only hope and whatnot. Like they should just go. And he basically they, they just showed her like dismaterialized basically in black. It was just all black. She just um dismaterialized or whatever. And then um got a couple of um show events what's going on in the present well past with Goku and um Vegeta's yeah, Vegeta's over the training. Goku was working, harvesting them plants and stuff until Krillin told him that Vegeta was over the training, you know, he don't want Vegeta to get a hit of him in that training. So he goes over there, yada yada yada. Back to the future part where Trunks and his friend Mai um, I don't exactly know who she was. When they showed the teaser last week on the episode, I thought that was gonna be Pan. I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was gonna alter it in Pan. 
But since I didn't do that, so my don't really know who my is. Um, but um, he was with her for a while until they was getting ready to leave. Black shows up. Trunks was about to fight. Well, he did fight him for a little bit, but then you know, Maya says, "I will be the decoy. You go ahead and um." Black blasts her with an attack, but she didn't like it. Well, she was apparently dead, but he didn't really mark her like he did Belma. And then, uh, um, what else happened? They showed, they finally revealed themselves. It's like, this is your last breath. And then we got the, you know, outro and whatnot. But overall, I think the episode was a pretty decent episode. Um, we showed, it's pretty decent episode. You know, they just, they, it's just like opening. It's, what's it gonna get? All, I wasn't really spending all too much fighting. You know, it's just an open episode. Um, but yeah, why does this guy like Goku? Why does this guy look like Goku? Like I said, he got that Supreme Kai look, swag going around. So I'm guessing some some kind of Supreme Kai. Um, maybe a evil twin of Goku's. Who knows? I don't know. It may be a scene from another universe. You, you know, we got some what like ten other universes. So I don't know. Um, yeah, very interested in this black guy. That's what they call him. His name is Black. They call him Black. Um. Yeah, well, episode was pretty alright, decent. Um, like I said, I was spared in really not too much action because this is like the opening to this chapter or whatnot. But yeah, let's see how things play out in that next episode. Episode 48. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to my review of this. I'm not really too good at doing reviews, so I hope I did a pretty okay job. But I'm TK. You can follow me on Twitter at TK for Dory Scar. It's in the description. It's also on my YouTube banner. And it'll be at the end of my video, so you'll know how to spell that whatnot. You can see, you can tweet me about anime. Y'all want to do a Naruto vs. Dragon Ball Z? Argue me on Twitter. <laughs> New stuff. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. You can subscribe. Join the Weed Squad. Keep up to update my videos. I do videos about anime, like I do reviews. I didn't do too much reviews yet, but I do reviews, and I recommend, talk about live actions, if there are any new live actions going around, do the trade reactions, stuff like that, but stay tuned. But yeah, I'm TK, thanks for tuning in, until next time, I'm out, peace.